and literally in my pajamas so I just threw on this really quickly because I am busy watching buying Beverly Hills and I got so inspired and so motivated. I know we've started with demolition and renovations in the house, but this just gave me more oomph and more motivation to actually get inspired about this thing. Also, um, the sun is busy setting, so there's light coming into the kitchen and I'm like, wow, how come I've never seen this part of the house where the sun with the light comes in? But anyway, back to today's video. I've been trying to record the demolition and the renovation process. I've just recorded a little bit of clips here and there. So it wasn't a step-by-step -step type of video. So I'm going to try and put the video clips together the best I possibly can. I was hoping by now I could give you guys a complete rundown or look at what the bathroom looks like. Like a, a complete overall, like the off the photo, off the video. But we're not, not done yet with the bathroom because there's still some things we need to do there. So I can't do that as yet, so the bathroom is going to have to wait. But I'm sure by now I probably would have given you guys a sneak peek of what we've done in the bathroom. Another update is this room. On this side we closed down this wall. So if you guys have seen in my previous wow, well, this is actually a good TikTok space. Like, wow. Genius, brilliant. <laughs> anyway, so this was the dining area. And we've closed this down. The wall has been built. It's now a room on the other side of the wall. And that room I'm going to use um, as like a little office slash extra room where I'm just going to store some things in. We are going to be starting with the kitchen demolition soon. However, we're not getting a designer to come out and take over the project for us. We are going to do it ourselves. You guys can see this is the counter coming out and over there is the passage. So that's where you go into the passage, into the rooms at the back. And over here is what we have now as the wall, which was the dining area before. So initially my plan was to put the fridge and a few appliances or maybe like a little coffee station on that side. Still forms part of the kitchen, but we're taking the bigger appliances out and putting it on that side of the wall. Sean was not happy with that. He didn't want us to go that route. He feels there's a bit of a disconnect if you put the fridge on that side, which I completely disagree with because it's not just the fridge. You're going to have your built-in cupboards and a little coffee station on that side. And because you're taking out the bigger appliances in the kitchen, will increase the size of the kitchen or may, will give the illusion of a bigger kitchen because you're taking out the big appliances. However, that idea has been scratched, Sean doesn't want it on that side and so I had to look at the plans again and see how I can construct this kitchen and leave everything in this area. So I'm going to give you guys a rundown and just a, the, the rough sketch that I have of the kitchen and again like I said we're not making use of a project manager or a company that's going to be doing this for us we're literally doing it ourselves using my sketch I'm taking the measurements we've got someone that's going to do the cupboards for us we've got someone that's going to do the plumbing for us we've got someone that is going to do the electrical installation one that does the tiles for us so they're all gonna play a part in us redoing the entire kitchen so this is the wall that is now currently separating the kitchen from the, from the um, lounge area, okay? We're going to take this wall down and we're going to make it a more of an open plan kitchen. This is the lounge area and you guys will see there is our TV. And then underneath the TV, <laughs> which I'm so excited for. Underneath the TV, we are going to put in an electric fireplace because firstly, I don't want a normal fireplace, like a standard fireplace with logs and that's going to give off all sorts of smoke and I don't want the house to smell like smoke. Um, we are eventually going to do a outside fireplace, a proper fireplace for outside, but for inside I don't want that type of fireplace. So I looked online and I looked online and there was this one company, of course I'm going to see if I can source locally first, there was one company but the fireplace that they had had limited options and then I looked on Amazon 
and I found a fireplace there that had more options. So with the one that I bought, you can actually change the colors, you can change the heat setting, it's got a remote, there are different things. I'm going to do an unboxing when I get it. And the reason why I want that fireplace is for Christmas, that's why I'm trying to push it. So the delivery date of that fireplace is, is 21 November. So around about that time, you're also going to get someone to come up and install the fireplace. It's just bulk up a little recessed wall where the fireplace is going to go in. So for, for Christmas, I would love to have, you know, the whole Christmas setup when you have like a fireplace, Christmas by the fireplace, where you have, you've got your mantle and you have your trimmings and you have your stockings hanging above the fireplace and I'm trying to create that mood for Christmas that's why I'm trying to get this done before Christmas so that's what we're going to be doing there I'm going to show you guys I'm going to give you an unboxing once it's delivered okay so again this is our kitchen and with this kitchen we're going to take everything down including this wall then what I plan on doing of course this is also going to come out firstly here where the microwave is now we are going to put our fridge, so we have bought a double door fridge. Next to the fridge, we're going to have our oven and our microwave on top of each other built into the wall, into the cupboard. Next to the microwave and the oven, we are gonna, I'm going to have my pantry, which is going to be just, it's not a walk-in pantry, just a like normal cupboard like this, but just full size from top to bottom. So I'm going to have a bigger pantry. Um, I'm very really excited for that pantry. <laughs> and that is where and this wall is going to end with the pantry. And then in that corner over there, so currently what you guys are seeing is I have like a little coffee station in the corner. In that corner, but facing that way, so facing against that wall that way, I am going to put a roller door. I think that's what you call it. A roller door so you literally can roll it up and then you can hide something there in the corner and you roll it down and the reason why I want that roller door is for this it is for you yeah, see this fan over here this guy over there for the air fryer he's standing on the counter he's massive he's big and you just need some storage space to to, to hide him but also to have access to him whenever I need to use it. Just imagine that this wall comes down. So this wall is not here. Against this wall going down, which is another 300 centimeters. So this is going to be a perfect square. 300, this wall. 300, that wall. Against that wall over there, we are going to put our cupboards. So I'm going to see if I can put in some inspiration pieces. Underneath is going to be our stove. So the stove is here, remember, and the oven is built into the cupboards on the side. Imagine white cupboards at the top, your counter at the bottom, which is the stove in, and white cupboards at the bottom. And then that part of the wall is going to end with the wine cellar. So yeah, so imagine again, over there is your fridge, your oven, microwave, and pantry against that wall. Against this wall is your cupboards at the top, cupboards at the bottom, ending with your coffee station and your wine cellar at the end. So we're not going for our shed counter. Yo, I've looked at these plans and I've looked at it and I've looked at it and I've changed it and I've done it over and I've done my calculations and then the sense don't make sense and then I have to look at it again and then I have to take into account spaces and all of that. But eventually we decided to go with an island. So we were in between an island and an L-shaped counter or peninsula and so we decided to just go with the island or I decided to just go with the island. It just made more sense regarding flow and also regarding the fact that we're having that type of, um, so it's like an L-shaped kitchen, like literally an L with the island in the middle. So this is where your island is going to be, it's probably going to be from here, going all the way to here. So it's not that big and inside this island this is where we are going to put our bin so we're going to have to pull out bin in the island we are going to put in our dishwasher and we are going to put in this island in the corner we are going to put our zinc and then lastly i'm also going to under the counter put in like a veggie tray where we can put our veggies in and it's hidden under the counter so this is the drawing that i made <laughs> 
So as you can see, that is the fridge, that is the oven and the microwave, there's my pantry, there's my corner with my roller doors, there at the top is my built-in cupboards, there's my stove in the middle, and which means you still have some counter space there and there. There at the top, I, f I try to draw. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to draw what looked like a wine cellar thingy, but it didn't work out like that. Yeah, in the middle is my, so this is going to be the shape of our uh, island. But yeah, that is uh, the drawing that we are working with. Of course, I need to do a more detailed drawing because um, I'm working together with a covered guy and um, we just need to see, you know, uh, if everything can fit in, how it's going to fit in especially here with the counter so based on my drawing i think that my measurements for the bin is too narrow so i'm going to have to see if i can't place the bin somewhere else else maybe put the veggie tray there but then i look at the veggie trays and they're all 50 centimeter wide and i'm like that's also so big like why must the things be so big we have like a small kitchen i want small things so i'm gonna have to really look obviously at that and see where i can put it under the counter where there'll be space under the counter but that is the update on the kitchen um i'm gonna try my best to take you guys through the entire process of how we are demolishing the entire kitchen taking everything out starting from scratch laying the plumbing everything if you guys need a project manager huh, you know what to call <laughs> i am your diy queen your project manager your everything in one and I love these types of tasks, like I feel like I'm going to miss it when, when all of this is over, I'm going to miss it. But anyway, that is the update today, I'm going to go sit to my editing and I will catch you guys on the flip side. Bye!
So you think you were right? Mm-hmm. Bring it on, bring it on, prove me wrong Go put up a fight mm-hmm. The way I do, way I do will knock you down You know there's a motion between us Don't, don't cry about it, don't Of my mind, of my mind 